In the last movie, we enabled safe frames to crop the viewport to the aspect ratio of the rendering. Now let's see how to control the aspect ratio of the rendering. And that's done from the render setup dialog. It's a property of the renderer, not of the camera itself. Go to render setup. On the main toolbar, we've got the teapot icons. Render setup is the one that looks like a teapot with a gear. In the render setup dialog, in the common tab, in the output size section, we can plug in pixel values to determine the aspect ratio. So for example, we can choose some presets if we want to do an HDTV production. The output size has a pull down list, currently labeled custom. Click on that and choose HDTV near the bottom and we get some presets here. We can click on 1920 by 1080, 1280 by 720 and so on. Or we can go back to the custom and click on one of these, for example, 640 by 480. And when we do that, we change the aspect ratio. We're now getting an image aspect of 1.33 repeating. So that's a standard definition aspect ratio. The aspect is the width divided by the height if the pixel aspect is 1. Pixels can be non square. The pixel aspect parameter allows compatibility with non square pixel formats, such as the standard definition D1 format. There's a button for that here, 720 by 486. Click on that, and the image aspect didn't change, even though the width and height changed. And that's because the pixel is no longer square. The D1 format squeezes in more pixels horizontally than it does proportionally in the vertical dimension. Most formats nowadays use square pixels, so we do want that pixel aspect to be a value of 1 in most cases. And when this image aspect lock is enabled, changing the pixel aspect will change the height. So now we have a width and height of 720 by 540. Let's make a custom resolution. I want a 16 by 9 aspect ratio at a low resolution or draft quality resolution. So I can plug that in directly here. If image aspect lock is on and I change the width, for example, set that to 640 and press enter, then the height adjusts automatically to maintain that same image aspect ratio. Let's turn that lock off and then we can set the width and height independently. I'll set the height to 360 and press enter. Now I've got a 16 by 9 aspect or 1.778 aspect ratio. And I can plug that into one of these custom presets here. I won't be using this 640 by 480 one. So I'll just right click on that. And in the configure dialog, I can click get current settings and then click OK. And now that render resolution is stored in my current scene. That's a low pixel resolution suitable for standard definition or draft quality output. If I want high definition, I can go back to these presets here in the pull down list. But to save myself some time, I can just directly change one of these presets to be an HD 1080 format. So I'll right click on 800 by 600 and just type that in directly here with 1920, press tab, height of 1080, and a pixel aspect of 1. Click OK, and now I can easily switch back and forth between a high definition and a standard definition resolution. And because they both have the same aspect ratio, my framing doesn't change in the viewport or the rendering. That's how to set up pixel dimensions and aspect ratio in the render setup dialog.